she has milk that came out that one. Yeah. Should we have tea? Yeah, it's all here. Why is it like pointing at Kenneth, not me? Hi, it's Kenneth Go, editor in chief of Harper's Bazaar Singapore. And part of our 20th anniversary celebrations, we have a very special guest with us today. And it's none other than our favorite celebrity photographer, Yusai. Well, Kenneth, thank you for having me. So happy to be back in Singapore again. It's like coming home. Now tell me, we have had such a long, long, long working relationship. Tell us some of your favorite things that you've done. My favorite thing is our friendship. That's number one. That over the years that we got to build on friendship, and I think people need to know that the work that we do, is not just about what's going to be on the cover. It really is about the emotion that we have during that week and our relationship at the time. Are we angry at each other? So we're going to put something oh, really exactly. powerful on the cover. <laughs> people don't realize that. I think what's on the cover is it's really a reflection of who you are that month, right? As a photographer, as a creative director. So that's my, my most treasured part of our relationship. It's truly our friendship. And on that note, let's find out how well we actually know each other. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Oh my gosh. Ready? One, two. 1996. Oh my God. The year I was born, thank you. <laughs> See? I knew you since you were born. Was it, was it 2014? Are you right? 2014. Wow. 96. I just dated myself way too much. <laughs> oh my god, what do you always wear, you sigh? Easy. So easy. Ready? Go. <laughs> Kenneth was wearing this giant flower on his jacket and the jacket was way too big for him and there was a pair of pants i couldn't tell was skirt or pants unforgettable and so fashion with your hoodie like so much effort you put into seeing me late with the dog and in a hoodie i was very <laughs> unpretentious <laughs> oh my gosh ready you show first the bang <laughs> the bang and the glasses <laughs> I'm going to remove this. <laughs> Why? You were so chill. I just thought you were lazy. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, it was during the time I was really into yoga. I was very zen. much... You were like so zen. Meditating as I'm walking. <laughs> truly, truly. But then when I got on set, yeah. there was nothing there was chill. Different. Nothing chill <laughs> nothing about chill it. Nothing chill about nothing, it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Wow, I can't believe Kenna just told the world my first impression is lazy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh, God. okay. I, I, this is a, this is fine. This is fine. Good. Ready? Yes. You go first this time. So when I write a really long message on WhatsApp to you, Sai, like you said, what time are we going to meet on set and what are we going to be doing? And what's the first look we're going to be uh, dressing in? This is always his answer. It's so, okay. it's so true. It you, is Sai, is the weather any good to do a shoot? Okay. And I'm just very efficient. Well, this is Kenneth. This is the most annoying part about Kenneth. Because the time difference between Los Angeles and Singapore. <laughs> you know he can call me at a time when I'm awake, but it's always, can we chat around midnight of your time? <laughs> honestly. Honestly. And what do I say? Okay. <laughs> I'm always there. I'm always there. Always, there. always. always. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Easy. Oh, no. That's easy for... Wow, Kenneth doesn't eat very much. I can't remember what Kenneth's favorite food is. Oh. Okay, you go. Okay. Uh, this is the best I can do. This is mint leaf and ginger and hot water. <laughs> Everywhere we go, it doesn't matter how fancy the restaurant is. Excuse me, do you have mint fresh? And crushed ginger and hot water. Singaporean style though. Hot water. Hot water. <laughs> That's what you always ask for. Always, oh. always. Anywhere in the world. Best restaurant, Michelin star. Doesn't matter. Give me my hot water. Very auntie. <laughs> what do you got And there? this is... Oh no. Your favorite. Oh and yes. the one and only. Only crack sauce. Only crack sauce. That is easy. With one. everything. It goes with Breakfast, everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper. So you got some today, so you're gonna try it. <laughs> no, no, no. I think, I think I remember. Start off. 
Okay, you want me to go first? You go first. It was in New York City. Oh, I'm wrong already. That's not the first shoot. The first shoot was in Los Angeles. Mm. But this is supposed to be the New York City with Sade inspired with Bruna. Your hair. <laughs> See, you thought it was New York as well because it was so memorable. So iconic, the Sade. Oh my God. Shoot. But it wasn't. Our very first shoot was in Los Angeles. LA. But this was so special. Oh my god, we super special. Literally the same. <laughs> we had an amazing shoot in Los Angeles, was... but but both of us got to experience New York together for the first time. That so was so I think special. I like this. Hmm. Okay, I know. Oh yes. Okay, for me, the most significant cover that we did together was actually really badly drawn here, but the Joseph Schooling cover that I flew to LA to shoot uh, Singapore's gold medalist star, swimmer star. And it was just so significant, the fact that, you know, I got you to shoot our very first man for the cover. I got you to shoot a Singaporean. I got you to shoot a national icon, and he's a swimmer. And it was taken from uh, a reference from Steve McQueen, um, from a past archive of bizarre covers in the past. And it was just so beautifully executed and you captured, you know, a really young athlete's face, but in such a manly, masculine and handsome manner and really celebrated him for what he is. And I, I thought you did such a beautiful job and I was so happy we got this moment to do this you know, beautiful cover, iconic cover for Singapore, for Harper's Bazaar, and to really celebrate a national icon. I love this cover because, you know, there's a there's a notion that Asian men are not the most masculine or the most sexy in a universal conversation, right? And it was so important for both of us, for people to see he is sexy, and he's beautiful, he owns that moment. and. I love the fact that he's so strong in that image and we had a woman hand model come in wrapping her his face with all this amazing jewelry on him. It was just this contrast of soft and hard and and it was a very iconic cover. You thank you for that. No, but thank you for doing such a beautiful job. And, and so what do you feel was your most iconic cover that you did for us? I think this cover for me, incredibly emotional because I had such a history with this model mm -hmm. and I seen her journey mm -hmm. and I know that it, it was something that was so important for me to celebrate with you, to put in an Asian market for people to see this model that we celebrate her in an Asian market. And in fact, this cover is the first Harper's cover she has ever done that changed her fashion career. And it was the cover with Winnie Hollow. Of course, incredible. Such a special, such a beautiful cover. I remember all the press that we got outside uh, that, you know, celebrated the fact that a magazine in Singapore celebrates diversity, inclusivity, the fact that, you know, here is a model who, you know, had, has a, a skin issue that we celebrated and we absolutely love the image. We love the sort of the almost old school, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but the DNA of Bazaar, which is to really celebrate women. That graphic shape, yes. the red against her skin. So we've done so many covers together and each one of them is a unique story. And for the one that we did with Whitney, for me, well, I will always look at that and smile because we know what we contribute to the conversation to the world. And we don't get those opportunities very often because publications has layers and layers of, of, of bureaucracy involved. And the fact that you took a chance on her I so appreciate it. And, and, and I know she appreciated it. And she gave so much on that shoot, from the hair to the makeup to the poses. It was a moment that I will always remember with Harper's. So Kenneth, we've done so many covers together, mm -hmm. so many collaborations. We have shot sexy models. We have shot men and put them on the cover. And then we have done, done sultry. We've done collaboration with diversity. What is next for Harper's, you think? What is next? I think that you know, the language that we have crafted, the aesthetic, uh, the issues that we have brought up, 
I think right now in the world, what women want is to talk about where they sit and where they stand in the world and how we can amplify it and how we can talk about the issues that they face. Because end of the day, Harper's Bazaar is a magazine for women and not just in Asia. And I think that has changed so much in our journey. Social media mm. has given us a platform to talk to women all over the world. And I think that's the beauty of it that you know, we're not talking to just women in Singapore, we're talking to women in Asia, we're talking to women globally. And I want to give them a platform. I want to give them a space where they can feel safe, they feel celebrated, uh, they feel empowered to be able to talk openly, happily, glamorously, sensuously, which you do so beautifully and do so well. And, you know, to keep those conversations going, to keep all their issues, bring them up, you know, celebrate them. I, I love that. It's because I know when I first started working with you that we really looked at Harper's Bazaar Singapore as a title. And it was Harper's, it was Singapore. And we're talking a lot about how to make Singapore globally. And over the time that we work together, you really have done that. The conversation we have on the covers are not a regional conversation or global aspect that we take charge at. You, you bring up subject matters that, that is not just Asian centric. It is really a global conversation. And I can't wait to do more stories like this and be able to, like you said, empower our readers, empower the women out there and, and celebrate with them. And, and laugh with them, right? It's really important. I think fashion is so much fun and I want to make sure that they love and join our journey. And I do, I really appreciate our collaboration. I really thank you for this incredible journey of many, many years. We won't tell you how long because you'll date us. <laughs> <laughs> we just 1996. 1996. <laughs>